up y'all we out here at the spillway and we are going to try to catch these asian carp i'm gonna show you how i do it show you what i rig with what i'm using let's get to it all right what i do is i just take the line and i bend it like this and i got this big treble hook and what i do is i put it through the eye and then i open it kind of like a polymer knot just a little bit different and then i cinch it down together where the top of the line hooks up on it like this then what i do is i make a half hitch well a half hitch is you grab the line you come from the bottom up toward the top like this and then i go over two hooks and I tighten it down and then I make another half hitch over the other two hooks just not the same ones just a different one and I tighten it up and this it keeps it in line like this it's it's perfectly straight on the thing and all I do after that I take a little weight like this and I just make a regular knot through here I just do an improved clinch knot, probably about a foot down. Tie it. I ain't got. I'm not worried about this because this is what's going to be the business end of that. So that's what I use for that. I'll use a straight treble hook if it's big enough, and just drag it. And anytime I feel a bump, I'm setting the hook. Make sure you drag set right. Then you go to fighting them. Let's see if we can get them. You ain't even really got to cast it. You could just walk. Just let it trail behind you a little bit and just walk. Try to make a cast. <laughs> well, I just had the first hookup this morning. He got off though. <laughs> Look at that. Jumping out the water. That looks like a silver carp. There we go. That's the first one of the day. Didn't even have to hook it. Look at that, huh? That looks like a silver carp instead of a big head. There you go. <laughs> we got more luck with him jumping on the bank than we got him uh, getting on the hook. Oh man, it's tough today. It can't even stay on for nothing. Fucking tighten this drag up. Well, I found where they at. But let's see if we can turn that into a fish. Drag slipped on that one. I got a good stick in this one. At least I think I do. All right. See if I can get him up here. There we go. Finally. Landed one. Oh, it's been tough today. Oh man. I want to say this is a silver silver carp not a big head but uh here's my shoe for reference he's probably about a little over two feet pull hard though let's see if we can get you one big g I'm telling you i'm just losing line all right even though it might seem stupid i changed my rig up i went to a bear hook and then i went to a weight underneath like i showed y'all earlier but now i just put this on here just like that and it's keeping it closer to the bottom and the first fish i caught was like this so 
maybe this is the way to go who knows i had a one ounce on before but i don't have any more let's give it a shot see if we get a couple more Out of hell. Big G, bring the gas. I got a pretty good hook in him. Yeah. Okay, good. Here, hold this real quick. Oh, I can gas bit. <sighs> Damn it. <sighs> got you that time. Here we go. Woo! It looked like he was hooked before, so you hold on the side. Oh yeah, right about the head. Sure did. That's old big head carp. You can identify this carp by, he's got an extra long head like that. He got a really big head. You know, it, it takes up a little bit of his body. The other carps look a lot different. He's got a shorter head, but they're very, very similar. Well, we ended up with two. They had a couple of them that jumped on the bank, but uh, we I actually caught two of them. Uh, one probably about, 18 pounds or so and the other one's a little small one probably about eight if you like the video make sure you subscribe drop a comment drop a like i will see y'all on the next video